Okay, say you're asked to take the derivative of this thing. y equals x to the x. All right, well, you've done, probably up to this point, you've done um, the derivatives of a constant, right? Or, or even better, a constant to a constant. Well, since a constant to a constant power, something like 5 squared, uh, is also a constant, you know the derivative of a constant is zero. You've also done variables to a constant. So like uh, something like x squared is 2x. You would just use the power rule, right? You write the power out front and then subtract one from the power. You've even probably done a constant to a variable power. Well, if you want to take the derivative of a constant to a variable power, you just copy it and you multiply by the natural log of that number. Um, but I probably have a video about that somewhere uh, if you haven't seen that yet. But what happens when you have a variable to a variable power? Well, then you need to use what's called logarithmic differentiation. And I'll show you why it's called that. Uh, and basically, because the first thing we do is we take the log of both sides. And I'm just gonna use the natural logarithm. You pretty much could do this with any log base you want, but everyone always uses the ln, the natural logarithm. Um, now we're doing this because one of the best properties of logarithms uh, that you should never ever forget, if you've got the natural log of something to a power, you can write that power as a coefficient, right? I can, I can bring the n out front. Not to confuse you with the power rule for derivatives. That's different. This is just a property of logarithms. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna bring that x that's in the exponent, and I'm gonna write it as the coefficient. So I've, now I've got the log of y equals x ln x. I'm gonna take the derivative of both sides. What's the derivative of the natural logarithm? Well, the rule is whatever's on the inside, in this case y, I put it on the bottom, and I put its derivative on top. Well, the derivative of y is y prime. Okay, or you might have seen that the derivative of ln of u is u prime over u. Here, I'm just gonna do y prime over y. Um, now, y prime, that's what we want. If I, if I just immediately took the derivative of both sides, we'd have y prime equals something. So we want to solve for y prime. But first, got to take the derivative of the right-hand side. i got to take the derivative of this guy. And x times ln of x, that's a product rule. So I need to take the derivative of x, that's 1, multiply it by the second function. So I multiply by ln of x. Product rule says plus. I copy the first function and I multiply by the derivative of ln of x, we know what that is, the derivative of ln of x is one over x. Or you can think about taking the x and putting it on the bottom, the derivative of x is one, we put that on top. So I can, uh, I can clean this up a little bit, I guess. Um, one times ln of x, I might as well just write that like ln of x. And here, x over x, that's just one, right? So now I've got, y prime over y equals ln of x plus 1. y prime is what we want. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by y, I'll have solved for y prime. So here I'd cancel the y's. I'd have a y prime. And now I'm just going to write the y right next to it. y times this whole thing, ln of x plus 1. And hey, we've taken the derivative. We have y prime equals, that's what you want. But you can do one better. You probably want your y prime expressed only in terms of x. What I mean is, I don't want a y in my answer. So how do I find out what y is? Well, y was the original function, x to the x. So I can substitute what y was, x to the x, times this thing. Hey, there you go. So the derivative of x to the x 
is x to the x times the quantity ln of x plus 1. That's how you do logarithmic differentiation. You take the log of both sides, you bring down the exponent, and you take the derivative of both sides. I hope you enjoyed the video. I should have a free formula sheet on my website in the description below that actually has a logarithmic differentiation formula on it if you're really into just memorization. Okay, thanks for watching.